The fertilizer industry is a highly concentrated global market with high and increasing levels of trade. The high levels of concentration in the industry typically result from economies of scale in production and from high requirements of raw materials like phosphate rock, potash deposits, and natural gas, which are not available worldwide. However, so far, not much has been said about the possibility that the high levels of concentration in this in industry may also result into market power exertion. Market power exertion, for example, may allow global producers to take advantage of price spikes in grains or price spikes in raw materials to the detriment of farmers' wealth. So farmers may actually be facing high input prices not only because of the high marketing costs that they face at the country and regional level, but also due to the market power exertion at the global level. Given the increasing dependence of most developing regions on imported fertilizer, examining the relationship between market structure and prices in international markets is crucial for a comprehensive study of this input market and for adequate policy making. In IFPRI, we have carried out a study on market structure and pricing behavior in the fertilizer industry at the global level as an attempt to fill this gap in the literature and to promote further research on the topic. Two important patterns emerge from the study. First, an overview of the industry structure reveals that a small number of countries control most of the fertilizer production capacity. In particular, the top five countries control more than half of the production capacity of the main nitrogen, phosphate, and potash fertilizers. In the case of potash, this concentration ratio is close to 80%. In the case of nitrogen and phosphate fertilizer, the same six countries control more than half of the production capacity. These high levels of concentration are also seen at the country level among the major producing countries, except for China. The top four firms control more than 50% of each country's production capacity. The second main contribution of the study is a formal regression analysis using annual data on urea for a panel of countries. Urea is the main nitrogen fertilizer, which is typically applied worldwide. Our estimations indicate that fertilizer prices are generally higher in more concentrated markets. So in addition to the observed high levels of concentration in this industry, prices seem to be even higher in further concentrated markets. We obtained similar results under different model specifications and using alternative measures of market concentration. On average, a 10 percentage point increase in the level of concentration in a market results in a 10 to 16 percentage increase in prices. It appears then that market power effects outweigh cost efficiency effects of increased concentration in the industry. The results of this study show the need for further research on the associated effects of higher market concentration on prices. In particular, future research should attempt to quantify the degree of market power exertion in major fertilizer markets.